Everyone should be proud of their own heritage. Hinduism is 5,000 years old. There are 2 million Hindu Americans. Hinduism has a very key role to play in this world now. The Hindu American voice can resonate in this time where there's so much strife between religions. We believe in multiple paths and pluralism. Hinduism has the ability to teach a beauty, a plurality, and an openness and a tolerance. Hindus have provided so many contributions in the world of mathematics, science, and yoga. One of the largest problems that Hindu Americans face is the misunderstanding of their tradition. The Hindu American community isn't really well represented by the media. What we found is a really stereotyping approach to Hinduism. Errors, exaggerations, or outright misrepresentations. Most people who teach Hinduism are not Hindus. There's a great need to educate congressional leaders about Hinduism and about Hindus. We have a duty to represent less empowered Hindu communities in Bangladesh, Pakistan, Malaysia, Afghanistan. Violations that, that take place range from rape to murder to temple destruction. There is a conscious degradation of Hinduism. At least 37 distinct websites that promote hatred towards Hinduism. There is a need for these to be addressed in a systematic manner, in a consistent and professional manner, and in a way that is rooted in Hinduism. The leaders of the Hindu American Foundation were inspired to form our nonprofit because there was a major void in the Hindu American community. There was no group dealing with institutions and individuals that shape public policy and public opinion. We wanted to lay a foundation for the future generations of Hindu Americans as they grow up in this country. The biggest achievement has been gaining respectability for Hinduism and Hindu issues to people who otherwise would not have been exposed to anything about Hinduism or any Hindu issue. When the Ten Commandments case came before the Supreme Court, we thought it was an ideal opportunity for us to explain to the court and to explain to Americans at large what Hinduism was about, how it differed from Judeo-Christian belief, and how the Hindu American Foundation firmly believes in the separation of church and state so that all citizens of the United States are free to practice their religion. While religious freedom is cherished and it is in the First Amendment of our Constitution, the fact of the matter is it is incumbent upon us to stand up for ourselves and to promote who we are and explain what we're all about in the United States. One of the biggest inspirations is that as second generation Hindu Americans growing up in the United States, we understood the need to really have an articulate and effective voice to voice our issues and concerns to not only members locally in our community, but also to government where we can really see some action. Until HAF, there was no strong representative um, on Capitol Hill. There was nobody there to tell senators and to tell representatives that, hey, we are a two million strong community and you need to recognize the fact that Diwali is an incredibly important holiday to all of us. HAF holds annual meetings in Washington, D.C. And in those meetings, we meet with senators, congressmen, aides in each office to help spread the presence of Hindu American Foundation, talk about what we do, and make sure that each of those congressmen and congresswomen understand some of the issues facing the Hindu American community. As we continue to build relationships, hopefully this will event will get bigger and bigger every year with more members of Congress joining, so we can really have that voice on the hill that we need. It's really up to us now to take charge and lead the way to really take organizations like the Hindu American Foundation and take it to the next level to be really be, be engaged with policymakers on really substantive policy issues in Congress and in the administration. Hello, Hindu American Foundation. Because we have full-time staff, we are now able to have a strong basis of engagement with people in Washington, D.C. These are journalists, congressmen, senators, people in think tanks, and many of the non-governmental organizations that are also based in Washington, D.C. And with our office there, we actually have a physical place where our staff can interact on a daily basis and we can store our resources. The Hindu American Foundation annual report on Hindu human rights has really brought hope and a certain uh, sense of dignity to people who've been affected. 
they, the victims of human rights abuses worldwide in countries such as Bangladesh, India state of Jammu and Kashmir, Malaysia, have looked at our report and have been happy to know that Hindus in America have taken the time, energy and resources to, to document this and actually advocate on their behalf. What we found at the foundation with the school textbooks is similar to what we've been seeing in the media. We've kind of coined as the cast cows and curry approach. Anything that's exotic, anything that's strange, anything that's out of the norm is a focus. And so where we don't see a focus is on the philosophical framework. We had the Hindu American community that was looking at school textbooks that really were portraying Hinduism in a, in a way that was uh, really disconnected from actual Hindu practice. And to compound this problem, we had a state body that was making decisions uh, behind closed doors and clearly against California state law. With the support of the community, Hindu American Foundation decided that it was time for us to file a lawsuit, that we needed to show the State Board of Education that Hindu Americans were not going to sit quietly and take these procedural uh, violations. We were victorious on the procedural grounds, and in terms of HAF's continued commitment to the state of California and the state of textbooks, we are working very closely um, with the State Board of Education in making sure that the new adoption process is fair and open and transparent. By documenting the hate speech in websites worldwide, against Hindus, what the Hindu American Foundation has been able to do is explain to the broader community worldwide about what constitutes hate for Hindus. So when we as Hindus are told that we're devil worshippers and we're going to hell, we sacrifice our kids to Kali, that our religion is dirty and filthy, that for us is hate speech. HF is a very valuable organization from my perspective for the Hindu community. It's creating a sense of self, a sense of community, uh, and this is very important for all communities. Pluralism is a word that we use a lot at the Hindu American Foundations, and, it, and if you could boil down the entire message of our foundation, it is that. We think that today, in society today, in the, uh, through the conflicts in the world today, uh, pluralism is a very essential core concept. The, the beauty of America is it's all about, you know, coming together and expressing your voice in a positive and affirmative way. And I think, um, you know, the, the, the Indian American, Hindu American community has been very financially successful, but it's important to kind of now create a collective voice. No one will give to us the rights that we deserve. We have to reach out for them. HAF is very effective because HAF is run by professionals. There are lawyers, doctors, economists. And, and these people have the ability to look at Hinduism in a very rational, factual way. But also, when they have their opinions, they have the ability to relate and communicate those opinions to a very broad set of audience within America. We're able to, with a small group of volunteers and, and with a, a paid staff, really effectively and professionally take the concerns of the Hindu American community and take information about Hinduism and distribute it widely and really give Hinduism the positive face that it, it deserves. While our community has done a lot in terms of establishing temples and community centers and supporting charity work in, in India and, and through our professional work supporting the broader American society, what we haven't done is served our advocacy needs, and that's where the Hindu American Foundation comes in. I support HAF because these professionals have the ability to bring the goodness of Hinduism, not to just Indian Americans, but to all of America.